apply Newton's laws of gravity to galaxy clusters. Not only do stars cluster, whole galaxies of stars come in binary pairs, in triples, in groups, in clusters. We calculate how fast these galaxies must be moving, given how much mass is there. We get the wrong answer. There is gravity unaccounted for in clusters of galaxies. In other words, 85% of the gravity we measure in a galaxy cluster is not traceable to anything that we can detect in that cluster. Gas clouds, stars, black holes, uh, bright clouds, dark clouds, anything we're familiar with cannot fully account for all of that gravity. We have a term for it. It used to be called missing mass, but it's really unaccounted for gravity. It's really what it is. And today we call it dark matter. It's the longest standing unsolved problem in modern astrophysics. It's been around since 1936, when the discovery that galaxy clusters had less mass than the gravity they exhibited. Do we need another law beyond Newton to account for this? Does Newton's laws just fail? Or is there a new kind of matter that we just can't interact with? That if you accounted for it, everything comes out just fine. Kind of like that Neptune problem. That is on the frontier of cosmic discovery today. Last point I'm going to make, Mercury. We study Mercury's motion with high precision. And we found, you know, Mercury's not following Newton's laws. Well, we've been down that road before. There must be another planet there you've yet to discover. Mercury orbits close to the sun. Throw in a planet that's, <laughs> that you can't see because it's always lost in the glare. Give it the right size so that it can mess with perturbed Mercury in just the way so that it obeys, follows Newton's laws. So we did this. For about 20 years, if you read astronomy papers, we hypothesized a planet. You know what we call that planet? Vulcan. <laughs> planet Vulcan. People started looking for it. If it's there, in fact, it's got to be, we're going to catch it during an eclipse. Something that blocks out the sun, it always show up. No one found it. Until 1960. Did they find Vulcan? No. They found out that Newton's law of gravity was incomplete. Newton's laws of gravity was failing in the presence of the high source of gravity represented by the sun. You needed to extend Newton's laws of gravity to a deeper understanding of the universe that was handed on a silver platter by Einstein's general theory of relativity. <coughs> In there, Mercury's, called the precession of Mercury's equinoxes, the precession of Mercury was solved, and Einstein wasn't even trying to solve it. It came out of his theory for free. That's how you knew he was on the right track. And so that's an interesting case. The case of Neptune and the case of Mercury. In one case, Newton's law triumphs and you find a new planet. In another case, Newton's laws fail and you invent a whole new theory of gravity that encloses Einsteinian, uh, that encloses Newtonian gravity. And it is Einstein's gravity that we extend out to the farthest reaches of the